Well, hi, everyone. <laughs> it's me, uh, Kisma, here at Visionary Artist Path. Welcome to Art Journal Sunday. And uh, I am getting ready to um, finish up the spread that we started last Sunday. And then uh, we'll probably begin a new one. Um, but we'll see. And uh, just so you know, just so you know, I've got a, in about six minutes, there will be an ad coming in. And uh, if you are a subscriber, um, you will not see that. Um, but if you are not a subscriber, please know that it is, oh, just a uh, 60 second, um, I, I believe it's 60 seconds. So you'll have to just sit through that, but it'll come back quickly. Be sure to follow me. Um, and uh, yeah, following also, I think allows a little, um, even though the ad is going on the main screen, it'll pop out a smaller block, I think, or maybe, maybe that's for the subscribers. I don't know, I forget these things. Anyways, I am looking forward to our, our journey today. Now, for those of you um, viewing this channel for the first time, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you and I want you to know I appreciate you and I can see the viewers coming in now and that's pretty awesome. Um, the part one for this particular spread is the rerun episode from last week. So just um, when, if you want to catch up, um, then just look at uh, uh, Art Journal Sunday um, from last week, Sunday, which I don't know, what was the date last week in the fifth, I, the fifth, I think. Yeah, I think it was the fifth. So. Um, and those of you who come on a regular basis, you know, I'll make my art station screen big and uh, then I will go over to um, that, that location and uh, record from there. Okay, so I think without further ado, don't hesitate to say hi to me in the chat. I love uh, people saying hi to me. So that's pretty cool. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to go over to the workstation. Okay, so here, whoops. Okay, <laughs> here we are, our journal Sunday. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So uh, we're working in this art journal. It's one of my homemade art journals. I'm putting my hair, my hair in a clip. So give me just a second. And uh, so we'll get going. Don't forget there's an ad, a commercial coming up. All right, so uh, we are working back here. And uh, here's here's the background uh, page we've got set up from last week. And then we've got our little uh, outfit that we're going to finish off. So grab your supplies and I uh, will, of course, see you back here to begin working um, after the ad. And I'm going to, during the commercial, I'm going to step over and say hi to my, uh, my, my subscribers who are in zoom with me. So be right back. Hi ladies. How are you today? It's great to see you. 
Uh, yeah, we've got an ad, a commercial break coming up. And um, so we will just take that break. And um, if anybody wants to show me what they created, or if you worked on Eat the Spread during the week and you want to hold it up, I would be, I would love to see it. Yeah, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, Julie, that's so adorable. Hi, Kathy, welcome. I love having new subscribers, of course. And you heard what I said about the first part of the spread being a rerun from last week. Yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. All right, my friends, we're going to a commercial break, thirty about 30 to 60 seconds. Uh, and uh, when we resume, um, I'll have a couple of things ready to go and we will begin working. Okay, see you in about a minute. And for those of you who are VIPs and you're still on the screen with me, you can see what I'm doing. And I'll go over all of this once we come back, okay? All right, we've got a minute. So get your stuff out, get it ready because we're gonna start creating in about a minute. All right. All right, welcome back to Visionary Artist Path Art Journal Sunday, and we're going to begin working on this. So you can see, um, I've, I've got my, this is on 140 pound watercolor paper and I did my paste for, right with a stencil and we really had to let the paste dry. It's nice and, and firm now. And um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a couple of things. I want to really get this going nicely. So I've got a paper towel here for blotting and I have, um, a couple of items here that I want to work with. I want to work with a brown echo line, which is a liquid ink. And uh, I'm going to work with um, the uh, copper um, paste. It's really lovely. And probably the distress ink, the walnut stain. And then uh, uh, I'm going to bring in uh, some of the mica dust. This is what I mix some of my watercolors with. Um, and um, 
I'm not sure. I'm going to bring this up. I think, well, I, no, I am sure. This was the accent color I used. It's a, um, a just a fluorescent blue. I used this in the main thing. And I think this one's going to go the best. This one is more purple. This one is a a gray or a blue slate. So um, yeah, I'm gonna work with this and you'll see how we're gonna handle that in just a sec. And then uh, we'll fix it all down to the page. So let's start this. So what I'm gonna do, what I wanna do is, um, let me get my baby wipe out because I'm gonna need a baby wipe. You can use this on any pasted item, right? You can do the, the these with any pasted item. But I'm going to take this. <clears throat> oh, boy. There, I guess I really screwed it on tight last time. So all I want to do is um, spray a little water so it spreads nice and easy. I don't want to get it too wet. Okay, just enough to allow the ink to spread. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my take my uh, paper towel and just blot it. Okay. I'll we'll do some more down here. I didn't quite get enough water. You can see how nicely it spreads or begins to spread. And this kind of a treatment really pops out the design of the paste. Now, why don't I paint the background first? Because I don't, I want that. I want little points of uh, the white to stick out. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to take some of this and use my finger. This is messy, but I'm just gonna go over. See how you go over just a little bit of it and it picks it up. It's so cool looking. And I don't want it over everything. I just want it over parts. Let me put this. This is my baby wipe. My baby wipe is just going to take off some excess. Now on here, I'm going to take some of this mica and just get a pinch out. Then I'm going to dab it in. See how it does that? It looks so cool. And it's just a touch. We just want to touch, right? And um, I'm going to also put it up here on the top, on the neck with the copper. And I'm going to bring in this. And go over the neck. Maybe just a little on top of the sleeves. And that's it. Okay.
let's use a little more of this. I'm going to bring some of that uh, blue up here for the waistband. I might wipe off the excess. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come on, let me. Going to come on with this, the distress. And this makes it uniform, sort of begins to pull it all together because it becomes the overall color. Okay, we'll go along the edges. Okay, so see how it's uniform, even though it has hints of the copper in it, hints of the blue, and of course the ink all over it. Um, and then let's finish the blouse here. We're gonna do the same thing, do the unifying color. And you can see on here, I didn't put as much copper on it. I put more blue, right? The ink and then the distressed ink. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so I am going to add just a tiny bit more blue here on the top, back onto the collar, the neck. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I want to add just a little more blue on there. Okay. 
All right, so we set this to rock. I'm going to just block this with the paper towel just to make sure there's no excess power ha powder hanging around. Okay. All right, give me just a sec. I'm going to do a quick check in with my VIPs and uh, in Zoom, and uh, I'll be momentarily away. All right, hi you guys. How you doing? I hope everybody's enjoying this process. So, you know, this technique, the cool thing about this technique is really you um, can use it in so many different ways. It's just a blending and uh, you know, of three different, um, well, I guess four, let me see, ink, paste, mica, and then distress. Yeah, four, four, uh, um, I'd, um, ugh, what do you call it? Four supplies. <laughs> Uh, that's mixed media. That's part of mixed media, how we blend, we take different supplies and we blend it all together. And um, so does anyone do, do you have a question? Did anyone work with it? Oh yeah, let me see, Julie, go ahead and hold that up. Oh my gosh, I love it. I, I like how you um, chose not to do a dress. Um, you know, but that you uh, created a butterfly. And I think it turned out real well. Yeah, yeah, I think that turned out real well. Yeah. Let me see, Kathy. Yeah, you haven't had time to do the paste, I know, but um, are you, you stenciled? You stenciled with a paste? Oh, okay, well then let's just see what it looks like. And then, of course, you have to let that dry and all that good stuff. That looks nice. That really looks nice. Yeah. Um, okay. I think that we're in a good place. So uh, I want to choose a word to go on to this spread. And I don't know if I want to affix it to the skirt waist um, or if I want to put it on the actual spread itself. So just a one word. So that's sort of what I'm going to be looking at now. So in this next half hour, um, a word choice, affixing that word, and then um, bringing the, the skirt and the top onto the actual spread itself. And um, that's, that's our next phase. All right, so if no one has any other questions, I will go ahead and um, step back over, but let me just do a my uh, top of the hour station identification. Um, I'm Kisma. You're at 
visionary artist path twitch tv channel and you are a viewing art journal sundays and we are an art channel that creates and you know that you, you know that so welcome 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 all right let me uh head back over there so bye for now <laughs> Okay, here we are, we're back at the drawing board. So I wanna put a word on the spread. Let me bring up the, the journal now. So you begin to see the full composition. And uh, I'd like to adhere a, a word. So I'm not sure if I want to put that word over here or just leave that blank, leave that blank, or whether I want to put a word there. Now I'm going to get out my word box. Um, and uh, in this box, I also have a, um, uh, dried tea bags and maybe I want to use a tea bag oh that might be pretty to use some of this tea bag liner well let me hold that out and uh, let me pull this out I don't need a lot I'm going to cut off a piece okay and here's my words my my box of words. So I'm not sure. Trust your heart. And let me do this. As we look at some words, trust your heart. Remember who you are. Those are nice. I like those. Um, whispers. That's nice. But these are too big, I think. I think I want it to go just right there. Um, This is a Joni Mitchell song. I am a woman of heart and soul with time on her hands. No child to raise. Joni, Joni. Um, that would be nice just for today, but it's too big. Once upon a time, oh my God, I love that. Look at, once upon a time, I have this too, and that would work. Oh, I, I, I'm just going to stop right there. I found it. So good. That was quick and easy. I go with my instinct. First thing that comes into my mind, um, when you know, the first spark of excitement. Okay. Still need to cut it down just a tiny bit. My head gets in the way, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Once upon a time, then do I want to have this on it? See, look. Once upon a time. Maybe like a little skirt. But 
Oops. Oh my gosh, I put the strip I wanted away. Okay. Let's look. See, I can, once I have it glued, I can cut that up and then it looks like it's got a little panel on it. That might give some interest. All right, let me... Guess I'll do it with some gel, my golden gel. It's just, you know, it'll help secure it down. So the gel will dry um, clear. But I'm gonna hit it with the blow dryer. So I think you're gonna need to plug your ears. I'm gonna step over here and hit it with the blow dryer. Okay, let's look. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cut off this part. See, and it's kind of like a little flap. That'll dry clear. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Okay, now I do want to take, let me get this stuff out of the room. I do want to take my
and clears about right there. Okay, so I'm gonna fix it down with the gel. I have to be very careful because I don't want to smear any of this around it. So um, let me do the let me do the blouse first. I'll get that down. Where's my Okay, I'm gonna put it right there. And then we'll get this dirt and put it down. This is almost done, this jar of gel. And I'm, I'm lavish, uh, I'm very generous with my gel on this because normally I put gel down on the page and then I put gel on the item and then I, I go over it on the top too, but uh, I'm only putting it on one area which is right there. Okay. No. Let's put it right here. Okay, that looks pretty cute. It's flat, I could have, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, let me get my Stabilo. Okay, for those of you who were in a commercial break, um, all I did was gel the back of the skirt and the top, and I put it down. I only did one side, and then I pressed it down with this. When you watch the rerun, if you do, you will you can see. All right, so now let's do this. Let's outline with some Stabilo. Using my aqua pen. Okay. Because if you remember, it creates a shade. You see that? And I'm just going to dab it so that it becomes barricaded. Uh, and this is a Stabilo pencil, just a black Stabilo pencil.
See how it kind of lifts it up, just lifts it up. And let's do the top. Okay, and then I think what I want to do is also go around these little balloons out here. Remember our balloons? Let's get some stability on them. Make them really pop. All right, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. I like it. I think it turned out really cool looking. Uh, it has a vintage look, which is what I was going after, right? And um, also it has a feeling of, um, it's left up a little bit to interpretation. Once upon a time, you tell the story. Um, and remember, I created this originally for um, maybe to use for my uh, Bohemian Gypsy clothing line. Coming back over here now, my friends. So, um, let me see, let me give me here. So hi, it's me. <laughs> and um, I, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna share my desktop for a minute and show you something that I think you might be interested in. Um, so I'm gonna share my desktop. I'm going to my website, all right? My website, my website is, um, uh, visionaryartistpath.com and over here you'll see a shop and if you go to this shop I have all kinds of things that I offer from art to clothing to no novelty gifts I sell my stuff on Etsy or Fine Arts America um, but I'm I'm bringing you to this um, to the Bohemian Gypsy line and I want to show you uh, I'll take you to the full collection um, because here's the line as it is today and then of course after Christmas it'll change up some but I um, will be having a Black Friday sale at 25% off and um, you will be able to purchase things at 25% off from um, 
Black Friday, the traditional Black Friday, which is November 24th until November 30th. And so the way you can get to it, the easy way you can get to it, um, as I was sharing, was to go to my website. Okay. And um, just go to my website and there it is waiting for you. And uh, I have select all the textures are mine. Um, the paintings are all mine. And uh, uh, I'm excited about it. And I hope that you will find a special gift for either yourself or for somebody else. Hey, thank you, Healed Enough to heal thank you so much for the follow i really really appreciate that um that's awesome that's awesome and uh, uh the one other thing i want to just share with everybody is that um i am gonna start um a new spread and so i thought today it would be nice to just show you um, how to get ready for next week for for next Sunday art journal and then that way you can um, maybe work along with me and remember those of you who are uh, subscribers subscriptions are $4.99 a month those of you who are subscribers you are invited into the Zoom because I'm in both Zoom and of course here on Twitch. And so you get the you get the login for that Zoom and then I get to look at your beautiful work. And after the Twitch session uh, closes, then of those of us in um, Zoom, spend about 15 minutes together as I look at everyone's um, work and answer questions and and all that good stuff. All right, so let me, uh, I'm gonna go over to the drawing board again and um, finish off the hour with uh, showing you uh, what we're gonna do, what, what we'll be probably creating or how to get ready for next, next week. So back to the drawing board I go. Okay, so anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed this little spread that we um, we worked with uh, using texture paste and different uh, different uh, supplies. Uh, it's really quite an easy one to do. The, the reason why I split it up into two is that the paste needs to totally dry. Okay, so, uh, well, let me just do this in case some of that glue isn't dry. I don't want it to stick the pages together. All right, I'm coming back here. And uh, because we're going into winter, I was thinking of maybe working with um, these elements. Remember how uh, several weeks ago I took one of the spreads one of the pages like this, right? And we created this, you know, rising on the wings of dreams. And we we did that. And so, um, yeah, I think this one's another nice one. Um, but, you know, I live at the beach, so I like the ocean element here. Um, and then, yet I'm touching base with the winter and the snow, even though that's a distance away from where I am. And celebration, the, the holiday season is all about celebration. And so it's kind of the closing of the year, isn't it? I mean, once, uh, once Halloween hit, it's just Halloween, Thanksgiving, um, uh, the winter, you know, the Christmas, Yule, Hanukkah, all of this, you know, Kwanzaa, it all hits us. And um, and if I didn't say your uh, tradition, please accept my apology up front. Um, but uh, I'm I'm North American continent, so 
those are the holidays that are coming up. So I'm feeling like I want to celebrate the closing of the year, um, really tuned into the holidays. So this is a way that you might um, prepare is by finding elements uh, collage elements because this is the ephemera I'll be using. I've got some beautiful ribbon here. Um, I'll have all of this lifted up. I have some doily here. Um, I have pattern paper here. I have a bag, some bags, and then the re all uh, uh, all the rest. I mean, look at that! Isn't that beautiful? And that's that big long piece. All the rest are are pages, either texture pages. Um, um, snippets of paper from my my stash, right? Or from magazines that I've come across. And the words, let's celebrate. I'm feeling pretty clear that's what I'm going to use. I don't think I'm going to add any others. So we'll pull this off and um, right, right down on this page where they're at, we will uh, go from start to finish in creating this. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to start the, the the base of it. Um, you can see I do, you know, I do a lot of different techniques. So uh, will we start with paint, paints down? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I got too much stuff, too much loose stuff in here. So this is some of the leftovers from... That first one we did, remember? Do you do you recognize some of this? I'm sure you do. Uh, so what I do, like I was sharing with y'all, is that I I spend some time sitting down and creating um, pages like this, and then I come around. Um, like last year, I sat down and created all the different winterscapes. And now I'm coming around this year and I'm I'm working with a few of them. And uh, I'll probably, this tends to be my winter. Oh, here's, here's another one. This, I love this one. This one I did in the spring. Um, uh, I have all different stuff in here. Uh, I'll, maybe we'll also even make a, we'll do up a page together so that you kind of get into the flow of, of that idea. Okay, so here we go. Let me come back to it. So yeah, so just, you know, decide where the spread is going to be. And then things that make you smile, things that you love that work together. Just I used um, just a painter's tape. Um, and I put them down, you know, and uh, then I'll pull off all that painter's tape and then we'll, we'll work it together and you can work yours at the same time. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> all right. I'm going to, I'm going to come back over there and we'll finish out our time together. So here I come. All right. Uh, the other things I'm offering for you, um, of course, are Thursdays. Thursdays are called In the Art Studio, and I work on different things. I've been working on my Goddess Moons Oracle to finish those up. I think I have four cards, two are in process, two I have to begin, and I want to have those finished up this year. But uh, I'm also working um, on a couple of fun collage, uh, small item style gifts. So, hey, you guys, I hope you had fun today. And I hope it, at the least I've inspired you. And uh, yeah, what else? Do you have any questions for me? I know my, my uh, I see you all. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about you. Uh, my VIPs, my subscribers are waiting patiently for me in the Zoom. And uh, I know the holidays are up. Uh, coming up 
and um, I probably, I probably, I'm not sure about the 26, whether or not uh, I will take the holidays off, um, but I will definitely be here on the 16th, which is next Sunday. I'll definitely be here. And then uh, I'll let you know about the 26th. And then we're in December. Oh my goodness. So it's kind of exciting, isn't it? Uh, how fast this year has flown by, but it's all flying by fast. Um, yeah. So what else? What else? Huh? What else? I guess that's it for now. Go over to visionaryartistpath.com. The link is, of course, right in Twitch. And if you're viewing this from the live stream page, um, then you're on the website. And take a look at the other classes that are uh, the other events that are coming up. Um, I'm going to look at it real quick. Uh, aside from in the art studios every Thursday at 10.30 a.m., um, Art Journal Sundays, which you're at. And then I also have uh, the um, uh, Art Talk. And it, on December 7th, we've got an amazing uh, lady who does soulful, uh, a very sacred and soulful um, uh, jewelry uh, that will be our guest speaker on that. And I hope you will come to that. Uh, that's very exciting stuff. Other than that, um, the monthly uh, a Zoom, um, private Zoom event for the VIPs, for the Twitch VIPs has already happened this month. So um, it won't happen again until December. So if you are a subscriber, please do go and look to see um, when I get a chance to go over to the website and put the December date in. And remember, 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 um, as a Twitch uh, subscriber for that private Zoom, if you do not have the Zoom URL, um, don't hesitate to DM me. You can do that um, right there on my website. Uh, you can also do it here in Twitch, but it's easier. Uh, it's easier to do that off my website because I have a contact, uh, direct contact that'll drop an email to me. Um, I guess that's about it. If you have a question, you can post it into the Twitch chat right now. Does anybody have any questions? No, 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 no. All right, hey, and um, my creatives, my artists, uh, really go look at, at, the, at my Bohemian Gypsy um, clothing line because I have put on there some aprons for us and I'm waiting for mine to arrive. I can't wait. And, uh, and then um, it would be wonderful if, you get one and you wear it and take a picture of it and send it to me because then I'll pop you up on my little uh, board that just brings me smiles every time I look and see um, the people who engage in, in art with me. Uh, last thing, um, November 15th is the deadline um, if you are interested in coming into the mists with it, which is the goddess moons. We have our first official meeting on November 25th at 12 p.m. So if you are wanting to get uh, involved in my 2023-24 uh, 20, goddess moons, uh, then um, you have until the 15th to register. It's $25 for five months. And then that closes and that's the end. And, uh, and then I won't open it back. I won't open Goddess Moons up until in 2024 because it's a one year, it's a yearly involvement. All right, my friends, thank you so much for being here. And uh, with that said, I am going to send each of you off into your own life 
with a wonderful, uh, have a great rest of your Sunday. Have a great week. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you, viewers. I appreciate you so much. Follow, 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 subscribe. <laughs> All right. Thank you again. Uh, healing, healed enough to heal. Love that. Love that. That's awesome. All right. Bye for now, everyone. You have a great rest of your week. Bye.